Tone. <laughs> <laughs> How are we? I'm good, thanks Mike. How are you? I'm good. It's been a few weeks. It has been a few weeks and uh, Yes, we need to uh, get back on, get back <laughs> yeah. onto the flow of these well, conversations. Uh, well, life has taken over, but we're back here again. So welcome, and I hope you are well. And thank you for joining us here on our next instalment. So, Tom, how have you been? I've been great, thanks, Mike. Good. Um, just th this week, been thinking about the use of the will. All right. Okay. So, talk uh, to me a little bit more about that. Um, when people hear the word willpower. Okay. That's two words: willpower. Uh, and, and how that's important maybe to very often assert the will on somebody else. Okay. So I'm going to use my willpower to make that thing happen, or I'm going to use my willpower to make that person come around to my way of thinking. But actually, the willpower is a mental faculty. It's one of our mental faculties, along with memory, perception, intuition. And uh, the willpower is there to actually use on yourself. So you use the willpower on, on commanding your own thoughts and keeping yourself focused okay. as opposed, I mean you can use the willpower on other people, mm -hmm. obviously that might, if you were you know, a captain in, a, in, a, in an army you might need your willpower but to, to, to tell the other soldiers what to do, but I'm talking about the use of the will as a mental faculty to monitor your own thoughts and keep that laser beam focus on where you're going and that could be something as simple as, oh. Oh, there's that thought again, that negative thought. I'm going to use my willpower to choose to pull that back to a positive thought. Okay, so you're saying that in, as opposed to trying to use your will to make other people that's, use the word manipulation, that's the wrong word, but to get people to do things that you want to do, using your own will in a purposeful way for your own development, your own gain, if you like, your own... Um, personal progress, is that what you're saying? How to well, use the uh, if, if you th think of an example, let's say, um, let's say for example, you, you were going to go to a party okay. and you were going to mingle with a group of people and yeah. have a talk to them and just, uh, but you decided that, you know what, I'm going to really, really focus on uh, saying things in a certain way or complimenting somebody or maybe bringing up a, a topic of conversation because okay. I'd be interested to talk about whatever that would be going to that party using the will mm -hmm. to remind yourself that right I need to focus in now use the power of the will again not to manipulate but to focus my own thoughts oh, okay or it could be say for example let's say I want a good example here on my watch uh, viewers I have uh, some letters more about that in another video that I've just pasted onto my watch okay uh, and that serves my will because every time I look at my watch I see those letters and oh, oh I need to think about that and it's just all the time using the willpower to focus mm -hmm. in on controlling the chatter because if you think about it Mike we have what 60,000 thoughts a day. a day yeah and most of those I think it's 90% of those are repeated thoughts that we've thought <laughs> a thousand times over so it's very um, repetitive our thought pattern but I think what you're saying is that if we become aware of that, say those particular thought patterns, and direct and use our will to start thinking in a different way, to start crafting and creating thoughts that perhaps are new thoughts or um, different thoughts, um, and using our will to, to do that, yeah. But also the will to make changes in your day as well. Yeah. So let's say for example, and I did this a few days back, I thought, right, I'm gonna have a really, I woke up early, I'm gonna have a very productive day today, okay. because I'm gonna get that job done, that job, that job, and then that one and that one. I thought, wow, that's a lot to do in one day. But I used the mental faculty of will mm. to make sure I focused in, I got emotionally involved with those five ideas. Come on, you need to do this. That's the one mental faculty you'd use would be willpower, willpower. To, to, to make those okay. things happen. So it's a will on yourself. Yeah, so it's, it's a combination of using that understanding will, um, desire, and having or being on purpose with your thoughts, is that right? That's right, yeah. absolutely. So being on purpose and being deliberate and using this faculty to say, right, this is what I, um, my desired outcome or my desired experience or, maybe my desired feeling, I am going to use my, this faculty, this will, to direct my actions and my thoughts in that. In the Absolutely, and there's no mistake that somebody, I don't know who it was, 
attach the word power mm. onto will. Willpower. Willpower. Yeah. We say laser power, <laughs> uh, don't we? And all these words we put attach power, power steering. Yeah. Okay, you got the steering wheel. And with, I mean, remember the days without power steering. Quite if we were to go back now, you'd, you'd yeah, be, yeah. am I moving on a, a yeah. rock here? You know, we so have very big arms. Yeah, we were, yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> right. Like yeah, a worn out wheel, <laughs> wheel steering wheels. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Um, Th th there's, if you think about it, that's a good analogy that, that, that the car industry developed power steering mm. to make that process easier. Yeah. Now the only diff difference with us is that I'm not saying for one minute that willpower is easy, mm. that putting the power in, well, this is about its direction as opposed mm. to making it easy. It's actually very hard work, but with practice yeah. and with knowledge, and with the right company, mm -hmm. you can encourage each other. I mean, I, viewers, I can remember a time when I, uh, sat down with Mike and we do very often chat about challenges that we may have on a day-to-day -day basis and more often than not the conversation always comes back to Mike reminding me to well where how are you using the will there where are you focusing mm -hmm. where are you focusing your thoughts yeah. pull it back because that's the use of the will and it's a unique faculty along with others of course but. absolutely well that's great insight for us today um, so in conclusion, Tony, if for people who are watching this video wanted to st um, start using their willpower, what steps would you advise them to take so they can start going away and start directing their thoughts that's going to well, help them? I think first of all is you have to own it. Okay. So you've got to find a way of not borrowing maybe somebody else's idea, well you can do, but then evolve it and own, own that use, the unique use of the will. Mm -hmm. So the way viewers, I'll share this with you now, is going, going back again to the watch. Um, that was my, by putting a sticker on my watch, actually it's quite annoying so I can never tell what time it is, um, but I put a sticker on my watch with some letters on, and that's to encourage the use of the wheel, because I look at those, it reminds me, oh, I need to think in that certain way, I need to focus. So that's my own unique way of forcing my wit the power of willpower in the right direction for somebody else it might be a piece of paper in their pocket yeah. or it could be a note on the floor or some people i know put post-its around their house yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, on the fridge and the they're very powerful I, viewers before we do go i think um this is so this is so powerful when you think about your day from beginning to end and all those little journeys you make in the car and through the office and through the house and all those in and out of rooms and, and buildings very often we can go through a whole day and just float through the day and we end up asleep at night thinking, well, that's another day gone. But if you put post-its up around that, on that journey that you take through the day, so there'd be one in the car, so when you go off, well, actually there'd be one in the shower, mm -hmm. if you shower in the morning, one in the car going to work, and one in the office, wherever you work, one near the cooker, all those places that you go to to visit have an affirmation on there. And it might just say, Am I using the power of my will yeah. properly? And, and it's really, so really powerful. Just getting a prompt to think or to question. Yeah. Question what, 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 how are you thinking right now? But here's the thing. We are always worried about what other people are going to think. So if you do share a house with somebody else, um, that's going to happen. What's that note on that door for? And I've had this. What's that over there for? Why is that word over there? Mm. And you've got to have the courage if you like to, 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 to move through that as well. Oh, it's okay. It's just an experiment I'm trying and, and you can move on. But, uh, so don't be afraid to be bold. Mm -hmm. I was reading today actually that, uh, you know, courage is really important. And then our job really is to be ourselves. And so often we're asking other people's permission to be ourselves. Or is it okay if I do this? Or, you know, can I really be me? You, you, you do need to follow your own uh, congruence, path. your own path. Yeah. So if you do do things, you know, other people come up and they say, what are you doing for? That's a bit strange, that's a bit silly. Great quote I heard the other day, Mike. Great quote. When other people come up to you mm. and they say to you, oh, what are you doing that for? That's a really bit silly. Always stop and say, and say, well, how is that other person living their life? Are they really, really happy? Are they really fulfilled? Are they achieving all their dreams? And there's this great line I read that said, very often the people that do put you down are not the people that are, li are the happiest people around or the people that are living their great dreams. Mm. So it's listening to your own heart as well. Yeah. Okay, so there are some very simple but practical steps that you can start to do in order to utilize the power and the faculty of will. So 
gonna conclude there. So let us know what you think. Are you using the power of will or willpower? <laughs> Leave us a comment below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do that and share this with your circle of influence. Okay, so that's me, Mike Hendricks, and my friend, Tony Mallet, signing out. Until next time, to your success. To your success.